Recently I did an air cannon video on using 24 volt solenoid valves with DC triggering to get them to open reliably and properly at pressures in excess of 200 psi. Today's video is going to pick up and build on that. Uh, I've built a variable pulse width electronic control to operate to the 24 volt solenoid valves. So this video is going to go over this new valve controller. Here's an overview of the setup. On the left here I have a power supply salvaged from an old PC that'll be a target in a future air cannon video. I'm hooked up to the negative and the uh, plus 12 volt output. In the middle here we have a one-shot 555 timer circuit. It has a push button to uh, trigger it, and this uh, potentiometer here varies the pulse width for the valve triggering. Now, as we move on across, we have another power supply based on a 24 volt transformer, a rectifier diode, and a filter capacitor. This turns the 24 volts AC from the transformer into about 36 volts DC to uh, trigger our solenoid valve. I'll go over each of the sections of the circuit in more detail, and I will also uh, show the schematic. Here's a close-up of my messy uh, breadboard prototyping. There's a 555 timer circuit that generates one pulse of adjustable width for each time the little red push button is pressed. The output pulse from the 555 circuit is fed to uh, an N-channel MOSFET, which in turn uh, switches the solenoid valve. Two power supplies are in use here because the 555 circuit requires 12 volts, but the 12 volts DC that the 555 circuit runs on is insufficient to operate the solenoid valve. So the MOSFETs circuit is fed from the other power supply that I made up from the 24 volt transformer, diode, and capacitor. 36 volts from this is sufficient to reliably trigger the solenoid valve. Here I've zoomed in on uh, the schematic and I'll leave it up on screen for a while so anyone who happens to be interested can pause the video and copy down the schematic. SW1 here is a momentary contact normally open push button switch. The chip is of course a 555 IC timer. The MOSFET is an N-channel MOSFET. To, of course it'll have to be capable of uh, handling the 36 volts and uh, it'll have to be capable of at least a couple of amps. There are many, many choices that'll work here. Uh, these FETs can often be salvaged from uh, an old board from a television or some similar junk electronics. SV1 over here is of course our solenoid valve 24 volt AC type that we want to control. Now I've shown a 6800 microfarad 50 volt electrolytic capacitor here. Doesn't have to be 6800 microfarads. Uh, a lower value such as a thousand or 2200 would do fine here also. 
here the circuit is now powered up and connected to 125 PSI shop air. So let's grab the push button and give it to a try. Let's change the pulse width. Uh, let's go to maximum length. And reduce it a bit. You can hear the difference in the amount of air that the valve passes as I change the pulse width that's driving the valve. Well, I'm now going to switch airlines. The yellow shop air 125 PSI line was just used. I'm going to disconnect that. The black line beside it is my uh, high pressure air supply line. Let's switch over and then uh, test this thing again. For this test I'm using minimal pulse width and I've run the high pressure air up to 400 psi. Firing is very reliable. Let's come back up to pressure. I'll increase the pulse width a bit. 400 PSI, 425, 450, and stop. Back up to pressure. I'll increase the pulse width a little more. 350. 400, 450, and stop, trigger. As we can see, we can have the valve release just a little bit of air, say for a small caliber like 177 BBs, or a little more air if we switch barrels to say 25 caliber BBs. 450 PSI, back to minimum pulse width. This will also fire quite quickly for semi-auto use. Now for a future upgrade, a pulse generator could be built that would feed a series of pulses to this triggering circuit, enabling variable rate full auto fire. Well, the only thing missing from this test is, well, let's put a barrel on the reservoir and valve assembly and uh, see if all this control stuff will actually shoot a 177 BB. Well, I've set up for the test shot off the new electronic controller. But it looks like I'm going to be going with a 25 caliber barrel and BB rather than 177. It was just easier to set up. Pressure for this test shot will be 400 psi and fire. Well, let's go get the piece of wood and have a look at it. Sure enough, there's our BB embedded in the pine block about an eighth of an inch below the surface. At least I can recover it and reuse it. Over time, I'll be doing more experiments and more videos with electronic controls, including getting into electronic variable rate full auto. And also, I have 
120 volt AC solenoid valves that trigger just fine at any pressure off 120 AC. So I'm going to investigate controlling those using the same type of 555 timer, but instead of driving a MOSFET, I will be driving a TRIAC. Well, I couldn't resist. I put a clip on, a 20 round uh, clip for 25 caliber steel BBs. Just got to give it a try and see if I can get a few shots off one after another. Well, let's give this a try. I got a couple of shots off semi-auto on the electronic control. Not bad. Well, here's a couple of semi-auto shots off high-pressure air, no particular target. There we go. Here's another look at the schematic used. I hope that this video, and it's somewhat messy but working setup, are useful to anyone in the air cannon community who wants to build smaller air cannons using the little 24 volt AC solenoid valves that seem to be readily and cheaply available, either new or as surplus. Thanks for watching.